This is your floor compression LSAT. This is going to help with hip compression and abdominal compression, as well as scapular protraction and depression of the shoulder. So what you're going to do is start with your feet together, toes pointed forward, and your objective of this is just put your hands down beside your bum and lift yourself off the ground. If this is a challenge for you, then this is where you're at. In order to progress the drill and get a little bit more compression, because we're trying to fold over, you would have your hands more along beside your quads or even towards your knees. So hands beside the quads, I actually have to lean forward now and actually press myself here. So in that position, I'm getting a lot of abdominal work as well as I'm stretching my hamstrings and my calves. Now, if all those variations are too hard for you, a way you can make it easier for yourself is by grabbing some yoga blocks or something to elevate yourself off. Even if it was um, 45 pound bumper plates, something like that, if you put those beside you, if you didn't have the ability to actually push off, now with that little bit of elevation of the hands, you can actually push off here and start working on getting stronger. The shoulder here, we really need him to be pushed down as much as you can. And then even with these yoga blocks, if you're looking for a little bit more of a compression challenge, you can start by trying to bring your tailbone slide behind you here. And then in this position, it's quite challenging for me again, squeezing my quads, hamstrings, and core. Everything's working there. So that's your compression. Else it.